So um, uh, that's a, that's a really big deal. And the reason the reason that's such, that's such a big deal is that full reusability um, uh, drops the cost of access to space by a hundred, um, maybe even more than a hundred, actually. So it could be like a thousand. The, you can think of it like any mode of transport. Like imagine if aircraft were, were not reusable. Like you flew somewhere, you throw the plane out. Like, like imagine if, like the way the way conventional rockets work, is it would be like if you had an airplane. And, and, and instead of landing at your destination, you parachute out, um, and the plane crashes somewhere, and you land at your desti- and you and you land in a parachute at your des- destination. Now that would be a very expensive trip, <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you'd need another plane to get back. Okay, <laughs> um, but that's how the other rockets in the world work. Um, now the SpaceX Falcon rocket is the only one that is, is that's at, that is at least mostly reusable. You've seen you've seen the Falcon rocket, you know, land. It, we've now done over 500 landings of, of the SpaceX rocket, of the, of the Falcon 9 rocket. Um, and, um, and, and this year, uh, you know, we, we'll deliver pr- probably, I don't know, somewhere between 2,200 and 2,500 tons to orbit um, with, with the Falcon 9 uh, Falcon Heavy rockets, uh, not counting anything for, from Starship. Um, and this is mostly Starlink? Yes. Mostly Starlink, but we launch uh, many other. We, we even launch our competitors on um, competitors to Starlink on on Falcon Nine. We charge them the same price, pretty fair. Um, uh, but uh, SpaceX this year will deliver um, roughly ninety percent of all Earth mass to orbit. Wow! Um, and then of the remaining ten percent, um, most of that is done by China, and then the then the remaining on a roughly four percent is uh, everyone else in the world, including our, our Ameri- uh, domestic competitors. You know, um, it, it's kind of incredible how many things are in space, like how many things are floating above us now. There's a lot of things. Yeah. Like, there, is there space a satur- is big, though. Right. <laughs> but is there a saturation point where we're going to have problems with all these different satellites that are 